Ja. Mhm. In the previous quest, we dealt with some leaks and spent some time in nature. We then moved to Caios Hollandeses to meet up with some friends and were greeted by this gorgeous sunset. One morning, we decided it's time to try and clean our camera sensor and mirror from the fungus that decided to call them home. Z tej perspektywy wygląda dużo lepiej. Wygląda dużo lepiej, ale widzę, że zostawia kłaczki, wiesz? If you research the subject, this is exactly what you shouldn't do. But it worked, and a test shot verified that down are perfect, it now showed significantly less blobs, and they were less obtrusive. So we decided to take it for a spin. First, a lap around Oish, and after we had sufficient time to admire her, we went for a walkabout. If you want to see more of it, check out our Earth Day special video. Though, a uh, fair warning, it's one of those anti-plastic propaganda ones. On the way back, we tried to get some shots of the reef. Now that the sensor is clean air, I should probably work on my focusing skills. And then a local croc came by for a visit. It was around that time that Oish Terminal got a new feature, an autopilot. Like most boats we know, we already had an actuator on board. 
We don't really need an autopilot, as we have Monty the Magnificent, but it would be a nice addition, so Bartek set out to work. The basic idea goes like this. You will need an actuator. You have, can find, can build, or can buy. The jar, which consists of a Node MCU or any ESP8266 based microcontroller, 4 channel relay module for Arduino, 12 volt USB car charger, a switch, and some pre crimped cables, all less than 20 bucks worth of parts. And everyone can solve this part any way they see fit. And the last piece is a smartphone. The smartphone acts as the brain of the operation. It has both the sensors as well as the computing power. And almost any modern smartphone has those built in. The only one sometimes missing is magnetometer, aka the compass. The smartphone is also the one running all the software. This is a collection of open source apps, scripts and libraries packaged into one-click installation that can, among many other things, be your autopilot. Autopilot controls are accessible through a local web page, so they can be easily displayed on any device with a browser. It can as well be the same smartphone, it just has to be fixed to the boat, so it moves with it. So now OISH Terminal reads the sensors and translates that info into instructions which are in turn sent to the jar, which uses the relays to move the actuator it is connected to. If you are interested in detailed instructions, check out the wiki on GitHub, you can find the link down below. And if you have any questions, leave us a comment. Nice. Mm -hmm. Full gleba. Nie wiedziałem czegoś takiego jeszcze. Za dużo, nie? Znaczy ten będzie delikatniejszy na, na ruchy. After some calibrations, we were ready for a real life test. But the weather decided otherwise. Did I mention we started to get heavier rains? This one reminded us of a somewhat aged item from the list. Fixing the companionway leak. But it would have to wait for a better weather. As you can see by the time it's taking for the drop to form, it's not that bad. Rains also mean good things, like sweet water for laundry. Oh, and all the bananas finally ripened. And so did the plantains and papaya. And guess what? We found yet another leaky stanchion.
of course, while we were at it, we decided to do the neighboring one as well. Probably not the best combination of projects, but as long as it works. We also managed to accomplish some housekeeping. The next day we woke up to find ourselves in the middle of a sargassum field. A quick web research explains that sargassum is a genus of brown macroalgae in order of Fucales. As it often happens, the weather decided to go from a flat calm before noon to a bit more energetic afternoon. Next day though, we were given the perfect light breeze for first test.
as you can see, it doesn't move much. Turns out, the brain is a pretty chill driver. You can judge for yourself, but I think that for a first ride it's holding the course quite nicely. Huge thank you to our Patreons. Thanks for watching, subscribing, liking and commenting.